What is going on everybody? My name is AJ. And we are here playing Dragon Age Inquisition yet again uh, We just got done doing a lot of little minor uh, story beats for Dorian uh, Cassandra and uh, Josephine of all people um, I'm here next to this next mission point under her skin um, I actually don't remember even getting this so I'm assuming it's from when we found out the Calpurnia was part of this. Uh, so we're going to take a look at what's going on. But uh, before I do anything else, if you guys have been enjoying the series, thank you for sticking it out with me. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. But let's rock. Let's get into this. Uh, first things first, I got to drink some water. Mm. Delicious. Okay. Let's do this. What happened here? And where is the merchant we intended to meet? Seems bad. It seems Vicinius angered Calpurnia by sending her mistreated slaves. Was that mercy or anger at damaged stock? She was paying a fortune for literate slaves. What? A horde of these venatories not enough? Something's up. That sounds like recruiting to me. Always have Varric with you. Seems like there might be a bad guy upstairs. Uh, reserve more for next time. Lots of demand. Okay. An invoice for a shipment of slaves. Oh God. That's just a blood wall. Well. Before we uh, talk to him, or talk to him, look at him. Let's uh, read this. Charred notebook. This charred notebook uh, contains accounts, details of shipping routes, cargo manifests, and lists of contacts. Sh all shuffled together the last entry reads sees people arriving tomorrow to discuss new shipment must bring up incident with last courier being branded losing profits to keep them quiet uh, good customer but she's bleeding me dry ask for compensation remember fine bottle of good just lane red uh, for meeting the inquisitor it should be memorable Is that still here? <laughs> that must have been Vicinius. Uh, I see Calpurnia sent Venatori to deal with him. Let's look around. Give me booze. Yeah. Shattered crystal. Let's find the pieces. another one the crystals whole again but hold on lady Calpurnia I had no intention I warned you of consequences should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care Venatori show him my displeasure no wait wait that's a dwarven memory crystal. The Shapred used them to store memories. Don't ask me how. Dagna might know what to make of it. Okay. It's a little creepy. <laughs> okay, before I leave the city, I'm gonna go buy my uh, battle nug. What, uh, strangely enough, one of my early videos that actually did decently um, was this video on how to get a battle nug mount. Um, I think he's up here. 
I think. It's the Grand Ball and the Winter Palace. No. In the Inquisition? Red oh, he's down here. Okay. It's only sells one item. Do you actually intend to defy the Chantry's Part of the world. Hmm. Is this a shop? Uh, I maintain a premises wherein customers of a certain affluence entertain the purchase of my ware. So yes, a uh, shop. Don't you mean wares? No, I mean ware. I have one item available for purchase. It is far too expensive for it merely to be sold. You may gaze upon it and dream of the wealth required to possess it, as have lords and kings. And then you may leave and purchase things from shops more aligned with your station. You must not know who I am. I'll have you know that I'm the Inquisitor. Of course you are. I am. Hmm. And at this moment, you are just as important as any other dreamer who enters my boutique. And just as deserving. Well, goodbye then. Yes. Say, so I think it's only 10,000. The mystery box. So here it is. Uh, that's why I was. I, I took some time last episode to sell a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to be left with 3K. But I think it's worth it. The big one. Operation available. I am undone. Buried in wealth, but undone. You're welcome. <laughs> ah, the Inquisition for the win. All right, let's get out of here. Um, We'll go back to Skyhold. We'll get our nug. Talk to Liliana. We'll do the whole work. Wor works. How many have trained here, I wonder? A lot. No point in talking to Cassandra just yet. I don't have all I need. I will be part of this episode. A little romance. Creme. Creme de la creme. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. We'll talk later. I don't think we have anything to talk about with uh, what's this work out there, boss. Those blighted nugs won't infect anything now. Shade, thanks for joining in on that escort for Lady Montillier. Whatever. She's great, right? Training hard, Inquisitor. You have the best people, and we're gonna help. Okay, let's see if uh, Sarah's got anything. I doubt she will, but you never know. You gotta talk to these people. Ah, oh, she has something. Heard what went on in that Fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. I think a lot of people are having trouble with what went on there. People going on about visions and piss when real people are gone. Dead, probably. Logan, yeah? Not a lot of tears for that one. And in trade. A busted down bunch of wardens, and they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerim, when the blight ended. A lot happened in Denerim. What did you see? People talked a lot about this one warden. There was a big fight, and they died, or... I don't know, maybe they didn't. The hero of Ferelden. You forget the hero of Ferelden? That was ages ago. Ten years. I was playing with small painted boxes and burying stuff I stole. I remember more people cringing about magic than blight. Wardens were an excuse for your stuff to go missing. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. Yeah. Getting serious about mage stuff. Magic. Things. How about... How about not so much? Just asking for not so much magic. Great, yeah? You know I'm a mage, right? I'll be back if I need you. 
Okay, let's go see if Cole's got anything right now. I haven't talked to him in a while. I don't think I've heard anything else. We all did. Who enough? No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. I like the concept of Cole as a character, but I've never really enjoyed using him as a character like uh, in my party. <coughs> Again. <coughs> Again. <coughs> Uh, come on! This is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Uh, good one. <laughs> Perhaps you can take over. Gunari training exercise to master your fear. I heard about the nightmare at Adamant. Sounded big. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you fought in that siege. Every demon in Adamant wanted to tear you in half. I bet, you demon assholes. And who killed you? That's right. I on fucking ball. I needed that. Thanks, boss. Anytime. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't talk to Cassandra until I've got... Until I've got the goods for romance. It's probably that episode I'm going to have to edit stuff out of. Hey, that elven redhead who makes the buns in the kitchen. Is she available? Because I'm getting signals. See you later, Bull. Yeah, I don't know. Why would I know that, Bull? It started out helping, taking the fear away. I won't take too much. I am not that. So, Cole, someone is leaving peeled plums on the windowsill. It's attracting flies. Spiders need to eat. And healers need something to treat infected wounds, like spiderwebs. The plums are already dead. They don't mind helping. I'll talk to you later. How do you know? You know, he is... He's got a really good point, all things considered. I don't know that I'll talk to him later, I assume. Elan's good. 
my best. Okay, good. Glad to know. Um, oh, I guess I should go talk to Black. Who's this uh, dwarfy person? It's a dwarf gray warden. Not unheard of. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want that. Alright. Um, I'm going to save just in case this turns into something I don't want to do just yet. Uh, his icon's here, but he seems to be missing. Oh, it's outside. A place for the horses. I forgot about the Ferelden horses. Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman, and she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. This, this is just, it's something to keep their hands busy. I'm grateful you tracked me down when you did. As exciting as wandering the woodlands was, this is better. It's good to be part of something so important. Something that could change things. I'm pleased that you feel that way. Makes me sound like a Chantry sister, doesn't it? Some giddy new initiate. But so be it. I suppose you've earned my loyalty and girlish enthusiasm. You are who you choose to follow. Someone told me that once. Took me years to understand what he meant. There's wisdom in that. It was a chevalier who said those words to me. A powerful man, but never without honor. A true knight. We met as competitors in the Grand Tourney. He left me with that advice before we parted. Put aside his own ambitions to help me win the melee. I don't think I even thanked him. What is this Grand Tourney? You've never heard of it. The Grand Tourney of the Free Marches. It's a spectacle. Song, dance, wine, every amusement you can imagine. <laughs> but the greatest part is the contest of arms. Prove yourself in the Grand Tourney, and you can make your fortune. How did he help you? There were a hundred men on the field, each one fighting for himself. The knight and I had forged an alliance. It was just the two of us, and we took all comers. The goal? Down as many opponents as possible. He always let me deliver the final blow. It was generous of him. He said I stood to gain everything, while well, he'd lose nothing. When it was over, he offered to mentor me, to teach me to become a chevalier like him. And I, young and stupid, turned him down flat. I just won the melee at the Grand Tourney. I didn't need him. 
I should have gone with him. Perhaps things could have been different. Different doesn't always mean better. <laughs> In this case, I think it would have been better. But I'm older, hopefully wiser. And I think I've chosen the right person to walk with. Of all the things in the world, a demon who wears someone's face, I imagine it makes trusting others risky. Without trust, how would we build alliances or friendships? It's easy to speak well of trust when yours has never been misplaced. Nothing right now. Okay. We're not at the part I was fearful of. I think that's going to be after the, the grand tourney or whatever it is. It's not, it's not called the Grand Tourney. It's just on my brain. Um, the next bit. First, a full wheel of Antiv and Smart Cheese. And now, three royals worth of crushed mint. They were right here. I remember seeing someone take them. I just... I can't recall their face. Oh, great. Now I'm going to figure out what he stole cheese There's for. no end of it. I could store an army. You have an army, you idiot. Where am I? <laughs> what? What? How have I never been here before? Oh, my God. <laughs> I love that. There's no end to it. I could store an army. You have one. I don't know what your point is. Sorry. Um... Where am where where? What in the Josephine? Yes. Uh, no, I'm good. Let's speak later. It's just like what it okay. Okay, um mm, do I need to talk to anyone else? Vivian? Perhaps? You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. I see. My library isn't up to your exacting standards. It's alarmingly chaotic. I found a copy of the Oribalian in what seemed to be the Antiven Classics section. How scandalous. Someone alert the Magisterium. You laugh, but in some places there are punishments for that. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... All right. Loghain is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. You're right. I was fortunate. Indeed. Although there is cause for concern. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. <laughs> 
He's such a weird guy. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being cucked at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool... Oh, Lord. It'd be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me, Your Reverence. Oh, jeez. Oh. I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinter, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. There's no cause for concern, Your Reverence. With all due respect. You underestimate the effect this man has on the people's good opinion. Do the people know how he's helped the Inquisition? I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Mother Giselle, you better walk away, well, girl. Well, that's something. She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. You don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? I wish they wouldn't disparage you. They don't know you. <sighs> they know you even less than they know me. Perhaps it's odd to say, but... I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... Uh... Don't speak. I detest confessions. And I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. I seem to have gained Dorian's uh, favor. <laughs> That's good. I, I, so I guess I won't have to worry about Dorian so much. Um, where the heck is the door to Vivian? I think it's this one. I haven't talked to her in a while, so there could be a couple of these. You walked physically through the face. Nope, she doesn't care. Please tell me what you remember. I had... visions. Echoes of what happened to me the first time. The Divine was there, or something like her. Manifestations of your own mind, perhaps. Or external memories awakened by your presence. I suppose there's no way to tell. No one else has physically entered the Fade since the Magisters assaulted the Golden City. Oh, I'm positively envious right now. She really doesn't care, does she? Yeah, okay, cool. I, 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 I've never needed to go out that door. Alright, Cullen, how are we feeling with the no lyrium? Close all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Please don't stop on my account. All right. Your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. 
There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Uh-oh. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. I play fair. I'm not going to let him win. All right, let's see what you've got. I think he's still going to kick my butt, but we'll see. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We've been through enough to drop the formalities and simply talk. I suppose we have. I believe this one is yours. Well played. I am the best, Cullen. My legs fit through the wood. I can fuse with inanimate objects. First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. If I was possessed by a demon, would you? I would rather not consider it. That's all for now. Should you re <laughs> Dear me, I'm still alive. Your loving brother, Cullen. Honestly, is it so difficult? <laughs> okay. Uh, your loving sister, Mia. Oh, wait. Is that a, is it a full letter? I didn't read the whole thing. That's all right. Did I you don't know. Uh, uh. Now that we're good. That's all for now. I'm sure. Your trip to the merchant's home yielded results. Before she became leader of the Venatori, Calpurnia was a slave from Minrathus. Even slaves with magic are treated unkindly in Tevinta. If Corypheus freed her, no wonder she follows him. Her old life must have been harsh if Corypheus seemed a better master. Perhaps. Calpurnia has freed every slave she's purchased. Vicinius tracked his shipments. My agents will investigate. This may lead us to Calpurnia's lair. In the meantime, speak to Dagna. The crystal you found on Vicinius fascinates her. This is an amazing find, Inquisitor. The shape in Orzammar had something like it. Greetings to you too, Dagna. They preserve voices, or a likeness. Memories, you know? You don't know. It doesn't matter. The Venatori cracked it, but here... These documents you found, Inquisitor. I've made interesting... <laughs> ...discoveries. Have no fear, demons. But the power will draw them, unless you have wards against possession. Once you have become the vessel, demons will be beneath your concern. Prepare as I have directed. I shall, Elder One. Sod it! Oh, sorry. The crystal couldn't take anymore. It wasn't meant for this. Crystal showed us Calpurnia hasn't bought into Corypheus's myth just yet. Well, I'm no shaper, but I might be able to get it to remember new sounds. Really? If we hid it among Calpurnia's belongings, imagine what we could learn. Ah, 
I can split it and keep half here. We could hear her speaking right then. It's not how they're supposed to work, and it'll probably break. As I said, I'm no shaper. Inquisitor, Calpurnia's Venatore have been digging up elven ruins. Tracking them might lead us to her. If this crystal were placed in a lair, I cannot overstate the value of what we might learn. Dagna, do whatever it takes to get that crystal ready. Right. If there's a rift growing between Corypheus and Calpurnia, we must exploit it. I'll have the crystal ready soon. I think. Let me find the Quicksilver. <laughs> okay. A lot of operations are coming up. Um, do I need to craft anything? I don't think so. Okay, so we've got a lot of operations that we need to look at. Unfortunately, I feel like every episode has some sort of war table operation. They are very important for the game, and they really, they really do a lot. Uh, but they are a pain in my tuchus, especially editing. Have we smuggled the other memory crystal into Calpurnia's camp? We have. Here. Ugh. Even honey can't sweeten Philandris. I'll keep trying. You are no slave, Linnea. I'll add another spoonful myself later. Calpurnia seems to be treating her new acolytes kindly. While I found that interesting, this is what you must hear. Master, forgive me. I didn't expect. The time for your ascension nears. Tell me of your preparation. They go well enough, although I'm distracted here. If I could train at the shrine. Only Dumont's faithful may enter. Continue as before. Or would you see the Imperium's rebirth stalled by your lack of focus? I will be ready, as the vessel, and to Vinter's champion. Calpurnia sounds like she's doing this for Tevinter, not Corypheus. Another deflection. Why, a dwarf and bauble, as if mine was miraculously returned to me. Let's give your new owner a glimpse of his fate. Venatori, we leave. That is all the crystal recorded before she found it. But I think it may be enough. A shrine to Dumat, Corypheus said. Where Calpurnia is forbidden to go. Who is this Dumat that Corypheus mentioned? An old god, worshipped in ancient Tevinta as the Dragon of Silence. He was the first to rise as an archdemon and bring the Blight. Truly a god fit for Corypheus. Corypheus will be on guard once Calpurnia tells him we were listening. I wonder. She may wish to see what we do first. She must realize he's hiding something from her. Let us investigate this shrine. Carefully. I doubt Corypheus has left it unguarded. Okay. Another operation that I will ignore for now. We are going to help my boy Varric with well shit. That's what we're doing. Well, shit. It's the hinterlands again. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? We're, oh, we're going back here. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to load this in. Um, I think we're going to take Bull. Sure, we'll take Cass Ooh. Should we take Cassandra or Blackwall? We ran into Darkspawn last time. Let's take Blackwall instead. Finally. I started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for to start 
talking to us. We better get to work. Sounds good to me. Hello, Laura Bailey. You can't change your voice and think I don't recognize it. It was weird that I got no sound there for a second. around in caves, shooting guys. Is this your day-to-day? -day? I usually try to avoid the caves. I blocked this thing off. You had me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! You've been here often enough to renovate the cave? I've made a few trips down the deep roads in the past. I don't know if Eric's told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. I guess it's a good thing you came along, then. I get that a lot. After you. Absolutely, ma'am. How is what's his name? Bogdan? He's in Navarra right now, selling my machine to wealthy landowners. I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that contraption. That's not gonna happen, even if I am ten times the Smith Bronca ever was. A surfacer paragon? Never. Yeah! <laughs> what a jerk!
Hey, Warden? You know, this is almost fun. Kind of like old times. I don't recall us ever shooting people together. Remember crashing Bartram's guild dinner? We might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. See why he named him his crossbow after her. you are. You won't be able to use this entrance again. Bianca. You were the one who leaked the Tig's location. It's not like that. Not entirely. Shit. When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the Red Lyrium, and I... Studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You want to help your brother, don't you? I just wanted to figure it out. Did you figure it out? Actually, yes. I found out that Red Lyrium. It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive, or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals, only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this guy, Lorias. He seemed really interested in helping my research. So I gave him a key. Lorias? He was the Grey Warden we met in Corypheus's... Oh, shit. I knew something seemed off. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. That name means something to you, Varric? He was at the Grey Warden prison where we found Corypheus. And he definitely wasn't a mage before. You had to know we'd figure out what happened, Bianca. Why did you insist on coming with us? Varric told me what people were doing with the Red Lyrium. I had to help make this right. You couldn't have known what would happen. Mafarath's balls, she couldn't. I told her exactly how bad this shit was. I told her to keep away from it. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. Oh, for pity's sake. Would you two just get a room? Sorry, Inquisitor. We've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. Hope she shows up. In the new game, that is. Where am I going now? I thought I... Oh, she locked. I got it. She, she locked it from here. Ooh, guys. Hey, well, welcome back. W welcome back. Editor AJ, welcome back. Hello. Guys, I just thought, I just realized where I am. I can complete the Cassandra quest. And guess who's not with me? Cassandra. Yeah, 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 I don't care. Good day. 
Ah, back again, eh? Wish I could sell you some books. Wish I could sell anyone some books. Sod it all. So, what happened, exactly? Surfacers happened. It took all my coin for bribes just to find out the damn Templars ambushed my wagon before it got here. Thought I was bringing supplies to the robes. So it's out there, but who knows where. Any books of poetry in your wagon? Sure. Mages love that stuff. Fat lot of good it does me now. Oh, jeez. I got it. Poetry book. I found it. Hello. Welcome back. I found it. Poetry book. We've helped Varric. We're going to go back to Skyhold. Do I need to tell the guy that? Meh. Okay. Go back to Skyhold. We're going to check the Varric's okay. Then we're going to romance. I'm glad to have answers, but shit. The second she showed up here, I knew. I just... I let this mess happen. I gave her the tig. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. I don't think anyone is equipped any better than you are. No, no, the point is... I don't. I don't deal with things. If Cassandra hadn't dragged me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now, pretending none of this was happening. You know that's not true. You've worked as hard as any of us to stop Corypheus. Is that true? I don't even know anymore. Thank you for your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You're just in time. We almost had to start without you. What exactly were you starting without me now? A killer game of Wicked Grace. Look who showed up, everybody. Oh shit, it really is. Deal him in, would you, Ruffles? I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? Are three drakes better than a pair of swords? Ugh, I can never remember. Seeker, remember how I said, don't show anyone your hand? That rule includes announcing it to the table. There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit forming. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously, who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? I'm in, and raising another silver. <laughs> you haven't even looked at your cards. Our illustrious leader is betting we're bluffing. You are bluffing. The poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> he did not. Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely.
I've got one for you. So my kith was hired for a simple caravan escort in southern Navarra. Twelve days of walking alongside donkeys and men who smelled like donkeys across flat nothingness. Chakrakar turned to the donkey and said, We'll let this go if you will, and walked away. <laughs> Not bad. You don't mind if I steal that one, do you? <laughs> well done. <laughs> you ought to tell stories more often. I like the part with the rabbit. There should be more rabbits in stories. <laughs> that was scandalous. It would ruin the Inquisition if anyone found out. Tell it again. And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander. Everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Deal me in. Don't say a word, dwarf. I tried to warn you, Curly. Never bet against an Antiva, Commander. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our Commander's walk of shame back to the barracks. Well, I do. It comes off. I didn't know it came off. <laughs> I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? I wouldn't miss it. Good. It'll take me a while to talk Cullen into it. Maybe I'll work the revenge angle. Who's that? Did I win? Oh, Sarah. something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? Can I ask you something? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. Oh, and I gotta talk to Sutherland. Can you believe this armor? It must have cost two houses. It's alright. Kind of heavy. Looks good on you. You too, Voth. I can't wait for the next job. Inquisitor, this gear is the best. I never thought, well, we'll be worth it, I swear. The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, off pin and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. I'm glad you came to talk to me. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. I don't understand what that. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Ah! What was that? 
Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? Solus, is it possible that the amulet doesn't work on Cole because he's too... human? Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. We'll find whatever is preventing the amulet from working, and we'll make it right. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. If I see a way to protect Cole without taking away... Whatever he is, I'll use it. But Cole clearly needs our help. I'm not saying we do nothing. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah, this should get me through the month. Now give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You... You killed me! What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot! You locked me in the dungeon in the Spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark! The, the Spire? Cole, stop! Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me, and I have to kill him back! Before anyone gets killed, I need to know what's going on. Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help, and I, I couldn't, so I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Um... Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. 
Beric? The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened. Leave it to me. All right, kid. You want revenge? Come with me. I'm so sorry! Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Then pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. Do it! No! How you doing, kid? Feel any better? No. You can't make it all just go away. I learned that the hard way. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here. For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? Being with your friends can make you feel better. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone, but... Everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? I can help with that. <laughs> it is good that he's not entirely changed. However human he becomes. I I like the the concept of him being more human. He left the fade. He doesn't want to be in the fade anymore. I would have been so. Let him be more him. human. He made a difficult decision. I. I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? I said I would, and I will. I believe you, yet... You don't sound like you believe me. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. It's very simple. I care for you. <sighs> You enjoy making things complicated, don't you? I'd like to speak with you. In private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. 
meet me there. If you're certain. I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow, the wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. I can, and I am. And that is the poem you chose? Icky. You have a better one in mind? Carmenum di Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven's stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? They will say one of two things about me. That I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover. That it was meant to be. Or they will say I was led astray by the wiles of a Kunari madman. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are a faithful man. I believe... You are part of the Maker's plan. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything. And it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I love you. Here, tonight. I believe you. Uh, let's see what she says afterwards real quick. It's always wonderful to speak with you. Huh? Let's ask about this. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. There are so many tranquil. They deserve a chance to heal. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. I was hoping we could spend some time together. As was I. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm very sorry about my mic giving me a little bit of issues there at the end, but thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure you click that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and feel free to leave comments if you feel so inclined. Um, however, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, I'm definitely going to bed, but I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.